girl who's doing OnlyFans, these men are not going to come to your funeral. Because of the common cold, you're not allowed to leave your house, for example. We're going to put you out of business and they wreck you. Whether you're taking money or you're accepting gifts, it's like prostitution. Isn't it? The same women who think empowerment is showing my ass and breasts, getting a Chanel bag and uh, holding a champagne glass on a private jet. Mm -hmm. I'm empowerment. That's not empowering. For me, that is prostitution, like you say. And Have you ever seen an issue with him? I want to know, as a woman. Now you're on the camera. Yeah. This is going to go. Oh, the world, I'm horrible. You've got to both have your opportunity. Mark, they've indoctrinated women into thinking that freedom comes from expression of sexual liberation, 100%. but that only makes you a commodity for men. They think that the world should think the way they think. It's no different to racism. But let's have your opinions on this, man. It's a pleasure. This is a first for me, having two ladies sit in this podcast room. I'm new to this. I usually have MMA fighters, boxers, Andrew Tate, personal trainers, but why this is important for me to have you two ladies here, purely because I think it's about time women also have a platform. And they do, I think, in life, but I don't think they choose to want to talk. I think they shy away, maybe peer pressure, maybe they say the wrong thing. And I think society, in a way now, outlaws that, where women are afraid to say, well, we agree with the old ways of life or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So an easier way, I'm not here to do introductions. Uh, I'm not as uh, educated as some of you here. Mm -hmm. So I want to introduce just to my followers and viewers your names and what you do for living. So first, let's start with Lubna over here. Please explain to us, um, my other guests, what you do and what you're known for in Dubai. So I'm a business journalist. I think I'm known for pissing off a lot of corporates mm -hmm. <laughs> and businesses. So I do a lot of investigative journalism. I have my own new magazine now. I worked at Arabian Business for about seven years. And now I just launched my own magazine, Frankly Magazine. And we have our weekly podcast, Behind Closed Doors. Actually, a very good podcast. I was a guest on there a little under a month ago. It was superb. You've got to stay tuned. We're going to post that before this comes out. And uh, we'll put all the links of both the ladies' uh, socials and everything in the bio. So, Lubna, why do you p piss people off? In what way? What do you mean by that? As in... Well, I just do a lot of investigative journalism, and I'm also just very opinionated. So, um, I, I guess I call businesses out when they do something wrong. And I, I w we were just talking about a really interesting topic the other day. This uh, Saudi company put out uh, an ad for uh, Emiratis to hire them as sandwich makers. Oh, wow. So obviously the Emirati community got very pissed off about mm -hmm. that. And it started a huge debate. So I wrote the story uh, and then um, it even went to the authorities and the authorities opened an investigation into the company. Right. So everyone close the gym today because Lubna <laughs> might see something she doesn't like and I might be shut down. <laughs> Sadia, over to you. Can you just introduce yourself to us and Lubna herself? Yeah. And uh, just to be honest, guys, this is fresh. They don't know each other. Yeah. We've not rehearsed. There's no questions. And that's how I want to do it just for you guys. So it's it's real. So yeah. Please. So I'm Sadia. Well, I was formerly a psychology teacher. I taught in London and Dubai. And so I'm a psychologist by trade. And then just recently, about a year ago, I started a year or two ago that I started doing more therapy online. And so now I kind of just do a lot of couples counseling, more just therapy in general. And I kind of do a lot of stuff on social media, just kind of trying to normalize therapy for people who wouldn't normally be open to therapy. I know you don't really like the idea. <laughs> We're going to talk about this. You really love the idea of therapy, but the goal is to kind of make people who wouldn't normally go for therapy to kind of be a little bit more open to the idea if I make it in little snippets that are slightly more relatable. And so that's what I predominantly do on social media and on YouTube and stuff like that. Well, that's, that's interesting because I see you on social media a lot. And I think social media is a key. I was speaking to Lubna before on her podcast. She herself has a great message. And I think I'm a father of two girls, as you know, mm. and I said, there's no role models or women I can see who they aspire to be, who I'd like them to aspire to be. Yeah. No intellects, no, I mean, okay. They're you've got, too busy being influencers, I mm. think. Influencers or <laughs> yeah. getting likes and views or, sorry to say, shaking ass or only yeah. fans. Yeah. You're free to do what you want, no problem. But who can girls aspire to? So when people get on the whole train, or oh, you've got these Andrew Tates or you've got these yeah. Trumps or whatever, or Vladimir Putin's, but... It's better than drug dealers. It's yeah. better than uh, people used to worship. You watch Narcos, we love it, but people are worshipping Pablo Escobar. Mm -hmm. So you don't mind that, but you want to 
go against the guys speaking about politics or yeah. strengthening men. That, but I that think that was one of my motivations for going on social media. I just got so bored of seeing beautiful women, absolutely stunning women, but not even knowing what they sound like. I didn't have a clue what they think, what they uh, might be thinking about any issue. So it kind of made women a bit dehumanized. I have no idea what women are thinking. I just know what they're looking like. So I thought, let me try a, a way of introducing the idea that women do have opinions. Women are opinionated. They are intelligent, and you can have conversations with them rather than just staring at them. And I just want to kind of push women away from that, even though I can see the alert. I can see why women go down that route because there's so much money to be made, but uh, it's not sustainable. But then you can't be mad at the men, right, for, for judging these women no. because you are dehumanizing yourself, I, I yeah. feel so. And I just feel we've just become really champions of victimizing ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. I truly, um, yeah, I totally agree with that. I, like you said, a lot of women will say, oh, he's a mis misogynist or she's portraying this, but then do something about it. Let's speak. Mm -hmm. Why people? Why do you think people of women or influencers are afraid mm. to say what they feel like? I know you're not. Like that's hence why we touch base because, uh, as people know, I brought Andrew Tate into the UAE a few months back to do a talk. Mm -hmm. It wasn't cancelled as per se. We chose. We had made a decision not to do the talk purely of the respect of the country. Right. I didn't want the Western media to say, "Oh, a misogynist in a country which promotes mm. this and that." So I thought, as a respect to the country, which has done so good for me, let's yeah. delay it and let's warm him to the people. But Lubon was the only people who she wrote an article in Franklin Magazine, a very good article. She's reached out since day one, and it's not whether she supports or not. She's about letting people speak the truth and having yeah. a say, and also she sees this whole kind of like agenda in a way. What's your, what was your view on that whole scenario and what was going on with the Tate train? Oof. I think first of all, uh, the problem with a lot of Arab women, I'm going to talk about Arab women first and foremost, mm -hmm. they're, they're really trying to have this Western kind of lifestyle. You know what I mean? They, they see it in the movies and I understand because you're consuming it all the time, music mm -hmm. videos, Netflix, this and that. Um, they've become really confused because they're like, well, I want to have a good husband, I want to get married, I want to have a family. But mm -hmm. then you're out in the club, you're posting your thirst traps, whatever, bikini shots on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to take you seriously yeah. if you are doing it. So I feel at the same time, they're going away from their traditions, their values, their mm -hmm. family, and focusing on things that really don't matter in, in the long run, yeah. you know what I mean? You, you can go to the club, you can have fun, but, but what is it actually doing? It, yeah. It's actually doing more damage to you mm -hmm. than good, you know what I mean? So I think we really have a generation of very confused girls. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't have my freedom for so long, we didn't have rights for so long, so now I just want to do anything and everything I There's want. There's no limit. Because the men were doing it, so now we have to do it too. No, we don't really have to do it because it's doing more damage to us mm. if i post a bikini picture of myself on instagram who's really enjoying this bikini picture mm. am i gonna be like oh i feel so good about my well if you feel good about yourself you don't need to post it for old creeps to be looking at mm. your bikini pictures you know yeah. what i mean so i just feel like they're they're confused overall yeah. and they're focusing a lot on looks and not doing anything with their lives. Yeah. Influencers, influencers, influencers. Yeah, they've indoctrinated women and they've done it really smart. They've indoctrinated women into thinking that freedom comes from expression of sexual liberation, 100%. but that only makes you a commodity for men. That yeah. You're actually becoming more oppressed in the process because if I'm there making a living out of my body, mm. essentially my consumers are men. I have mm. to meet a man's standard. Right now I don't, make, well, no, inshallah never, but I don't make a living from my body. So therefore I have the freedom to look how I want to look. Mm -hmm. But if I had an OnlyFans or if I was out posting thirst traps, I would have to bear in mind a man's preference with every decision I make. Clothes, makeup, body, BBLs, all of this stuff. I would have to think, what do men like? And I'd have to cater to that. So this, this illusion of freedom is actually just making you far more oppressed to male dominance and you become a, a product of male preferences and it's more embarrassing than anything. It's the opposite of liberating. And what I always say to people who kind of suggest that the East is oppressed and I said, but measured life satisfaction, who's happier? The girl that's got an OnlyFans or doing porn or the woman who's living in Kashmir where I'm from uh, with her kids and family and has a purpose. The girl who's doing OnlyFans, these men are not going to come to your funeral. No one's going to care. Whereas that woman is, who is looking after her children, she's got a legacy and there's nothing more beautiful than that. And you're telling me my culture is oppressive when I find your culture humiliating. And so that's where my kind of anti-feminism came from because I was just constantly meeting being told that I'm oppressed when I could not feel more liberated when I don't post like that and I don't mm -hmm. live that lifestyle and I don't drink and I don't 
frivolously like date or yeah. anything like that. So um, I was just tired of being told that I'm oppressed when I feel far more liberated than these women who are genuinely oppressed through the idea of catering to men. Yeah, yeah. 100%, I completely agree. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think what what's worrying is like you say, I see ladies much at a mature age struggling to find men mm-hmm. and vice versa. And I think the whole family kind of concept of wife, husband, kids, working, the white picket fence, the trips to Disneyland or IMG yeah. World in Dubai, <laughs> is seen as, oh, they're trying to, yeah, put this stereotype and win, oh, you're going to be the slave to the man. He says this, he's dominant alpha. Through the thousands of years we've lived in society, that's been the way, and look how we've, we've like, yeah. survived now. It seems like, okay, it's 2022, this is a new agenda, let's try it. Yeah. Don't you think it's a bit risky? I'm, I have female friends I know come to the gym and really good l- ladies and they're struggling to find men because the men are chasing, like you say, these thirst traps or yeah. the trash because it's easy. Yeah. Here's a gift, no strings attached. Here, here's a Chanel bag. Yeah. Do what I want That's when I want. Also, you know what I mean? It comes I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. Whether you're taking money or you're accepting gifts, it's, it's like prostitution. It's Let's just say <laughs> it how it is. I like, totally agree. It is. Just, uh, just own it. But what I would say is I do have to hold the men a bit accountable for this as well. And the reason I say this is 10, 20 years ago, a woman would know that if she is too loose and she's too out there, men were going to lose interest. But now if I posted provocative pictures, I'd have far more offers and far more attention. I'd be flown out left, right and center, whereas a girl that actually is well behaved gets nothing. So you can see why young, vulnerable girls are thinking the route to a successful man is through this behavior. I, I will disagree. Being yeah. around men, and I don't, I'm a Muslim man, and yeah. a lot of the men, how they behave, I, I hate, I despise. Also, yeah. it's trashy. It's a two-way thing: running to clubs, drinking, mm. spending some a lot of money on the table, just to have women pose. It's it's it's, it's cringe. Yeah. But these men, what you see, and unfortunately, a lot of the guys will be listening. They see that as a fun. They have their fun. They use these women, abuse mm. them, give the gifts behind their parents' back. For example, yeah. rich Arabs or rich certain guys here. But when it comes to marrying, they'll go to their mother or they'll go for the, yeah. which I hate, the virgin, the good girl. Yeah, but which then, it also annoys me. Yeah. If you're not a man, as a man, a virgin, or you're yeah. not a chaste, chaste man, as we yeah. say in the Quran, you don't deserve to be with a woman. Mm-hmm. Why should you be running around being dirty? Mm-hmm. And they go, I want that girl in the village, a beautiful girl from <laughs> Syria or a Jordan, bring yeah. her, and that poor girl's gonna suffer, she's at home. So it's a, it is a two-way thing, yeah. but these girls, are used and they should know it's just for fun but they accept yeah. it in a way because i think they want the fast track no one wants to work mcdonald's hard mm. or nando's or be a pa and work herself up for a small side yeah. they want that quick i want to sit on the private jet with that wine glass yeah. that pick what everyone wants or i want to be in the maldives so they're asking for it in a way yes i feel sorry for those women who are the innocent good girls yeah. as well but i also feel sorry for guys who are looking for a good wife now because it's very hard to find them. Very few, in fact. But there's no motivation to be that good girl now because now you're going to think I'm that good girl that gets with the guy, but he's still going to be spending money on the hoe that you met on Instagram. So there's you, when men are investing in these women, back in the day, they would use that girl but never speak to her again. But now they still invest in her, they, whether it's bags, whether it's shoes, whether it's flying them out. When a woman sees that that woman is getting an investment from you, it lowers the motivation for women to want to be that successful, that, that traditional girl. And so I think men need to be mindful as well where they are placing their investment because that's going to determine female motivation. But so, I'm sorry, I, I kind of disagree with yeah. you because we're, we're still going back to, oh, it's the men. It's these women that are that are offering that to the men. You know because what I mean? And there's then, a demand for it. I'll, of course there's yeah. demand, but it doesn't mean that you need to do that and screw over the rest of the women. You know, know what I mean? Yeah, w- I agree. When women are today getting really pissed off, like, you know, so-called influencers mm-hmm. are everywhere. So cool. You know? <laughs> sorry, like I'm brutally no, honest, but I, I've got to be. And that's why the good girl, why should... Um, a young girl right now strive to become, let's say, uh, an engineer yeah. and get paid 5,000 dirhams yeah. a month, for yeah. example, whereas an influencer gets paid whatever, 200K yeah. for one post whatever, or one yeah. day or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I understand. But again, it's the women. These are the female influencers. So stop doing that. If all the influencers yeah. stop posting all these bikini traps, I think that the men would start having to work harder but for it. But do you not think that if yeah. the men were not following these girls and paying these girls, they would be no motivation it's to post t- like that? It's a two-way way thing, two isn't way it? Way thing. But at the same time, what women. she's saying is the women, it's like, for example, it's luckily it's banned here, like drugs. If you keep feeding the crack in the society, in the ghetto, the more addiction is going to come. Absolutely. So hold that. 
let them go through the rehab, then it's going to go. But so you'll keep pushing this agenda off. Why do you not give it's basically the drugs if there was no consumers. Oh, there's gonna always going to be it's an addiction, though. But, yeah, but you yeah. can start an addiction from anything. Mm. You literally can start, and it's it's one of the natural instincts of a man. Yeah, uh, like everyone has their build-up. Mm. The woman yeah. is more uh, procreational, loving, mm. motherly. It's a natural instinct. It's you instinct. can say all yeah. you want about the movement of LGBTQ, yeah. but the woman is born with certain instincts. Absolutely. A kid falls over, you probably go, "Oh, come here," or you'll be you'll have that touch. Even with my daughters, you meet them, yeah. you'd have a different touch to my friends. Go, "Hello," <laughs> it's like a ball. Yeah. It, it's just the way we are. Men yeah. like to go hunting, yeah. uh, protect. She's mine. She's my wife. She's my yeah. girlfriend. Don't harm. And the woman's more loving. The university. So, in a way, you're feeling it. But I think, do you not think, Lubna? In a way, these girls fall into this at a young teenage age because who else do they see? At like, yeah. as soon as they get these phones now, this is yeah. a new generation, not like we were born. Yeah. It's different. We never had these. So straight on Instagram, Cardi B, Kim K, yeah, whatever. Just nonsense. So they think that is normal. That is good to say. In a way, they're kind of stuck. It's a, yeah. it's a vicious and cycle I, and now. I don't blame. Yeah. I think the thing is, it's really easy to be judgmental when you come from a great family and a great home. But say if I was a 15-year-old girl who's been abused, doesn't have much money, doesn't have anything like that. I'm so vulnerable. And that vulnerability can be easily exploited by male attention and male investment. Now, if we removed male investment, women wouldn't have to go towards that as well. I don't think it's all all women's fault, all, all men's fault. I'm not trying to blame the men, but it's a societal issue. There's a, a, a hyper-sexualized society, men including, women including, everything is so sexualized. Women are learning that's a currency. And when we ha have opinions, we have to think about it from the lens of a really vulnerable individual. And that vulnerable girl that doesn't have a father figure, doesn't have money, doesn't know where she's gonna eat the next day. And she knows that I can either go to university and get nothing, or I can post on Instagram and a guy will probably send me a, a plane ticket to Dubai. Oh, I agree, there are these cases. I agree, yeah, who've been abused, and that's unfortunate. They, yeah. But I'm saying now I'm seeing it in the Middle East, I'm seeing it in where regions it where happen, they've got yeah. fathers, mothers, yeah. good families, Muslim, Christian, Coptic, yeah. whatever backgrounds, very educated. I know mm -hmm. the fathers, were. I see these very well educated, they've got drivers, you know, we've been here for, I've been here for 15 yeah. years, you've been born and raised here. Mm -hmm. you're, you're noticing these things. My point is, I think women responsibility also to have more women like yourselves, like I was speaking to Lubna before, be, you, you need a more of a platform. Whether they're trying to hold you back for a reason, mm -hmm. maybe that's the case. But my two daughters are three and a half. I'm scared. What, who are they going to look up to? Yeah, I think who? it's all about pride, right? Uh, vulnerable or not, I have so many women in Palestine mm -hmm. who are so poor. Who, are, but you know, they would never do the things that girls do here. It's all about having pride and dignity. Mm -hmm. It's really about that. You know what I mean? It's it's a thing, I think. But I do agree that I think we... it's a culture thing more because that same woman, if she grew up in a different country, whether it's like Morocco or something, they do turn to that quite easily mm. with the same religious backgrounds because it's a cultural influence. I think we're overestimating the individual and underestimating environment because even since I've been in Dubai, uh, oh, I don't know if I should say, but so, I, I, I have that there'll be girls that are well-educated, good jobs and so on and so forth and they'll be doing everything mm. themselves. But then you'll get a girl from a like from certain different types of background with no job no nothing and a guy is paying for her rent in the address what makes sense to a woman who's just trying to make it and so if men withdraw their investment from these types of women there'll be more motivation so it needs to be a two-way thing that, but that's uh, never gonna happen you know like I I agree with you but that's never gonna happen Let, mm. let's face it if you know and happen, it's on women us gonna change no I'm sorry I but have women uh, we, through, we have through history have yeah. until it's only been recent yeah let's be honest recently this spike of Oh, being a housewife, being this, oh, yeah. your your control, uh, he's a, uh, it's domestic abuse. You're locked up. It's like yeah. this agenda. You shouldn't be that. And mm. I've noticed it's in the last six or seven years, really mm. drastically. This feminism's I'm for feminism, like, as in women work, women being strong, women having a say, mm. but to a limit as well as men should. Yeah. But this is new movement. This woke feminism. We don't need men, this, that. It's just sick, woke, and then it's like... It's drifting towards LGBT. No, but I, yeah. it, it is drifting towards LGBT uh, oh. stance. And also, I noticed it a lot more during during this World Cup announcement, the West's stance on what they think Arabs are in the Middle East, and well, it was uh, highlighted in a crazy way. Well, it's just a psychological colonialism. They think that the world should think the way they think. It's no different to racism. They simply have a set of morals, and if you don't abide by them, you're barbaric and you're not um, a progressive. And they are happy to cancel out entire continents. The whole of Africa is barbaric, the whole of Asia is barbaric. Why? Because you decide the morals. And that's just uh, horrendous. I was uh, so insulted.
by the reaction to Qatar and the LGBT. I was so deeply insulted and I couldn't understand how unbelievably racist it was. The idea that white people determine what is progressive and if, they, if they're if on Sparta side, we are just barbaric. I, I, anyone that agrees with that stance is, no, is just a racist. There's no two ways about it. My point back guess? into that is... Uh, mm -hmm. I think we've got a guess we're going live. <laughs> yeah, so let's I'm have really your opinions on this man. Hi. Andrew Lubna. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Nice uh, to meet you. Uh, sorry, I got overexcited, didn't I? I you, you caught me all excited. How are so you? I, now we can, you can see this conversation more. Oh, now, so okay, yeah. I didn't want to tell him this is purely unplanned. Yeah, we were actually supposed to this. meet today, but we couldn't get it all sorted. But That's we right. made it in the end. Praise be to end. God. We got it. That's right. We got it. Faith. As you in, we were just discussing how women tend to become only fans, they push this agenda rather than the mother, the wife, yeah. the nice uh, housewife or mm -hmm. a woman to become an engineer. Look, I was saying, I believe truly it's women's fault. They they blame men, but women are giving them in, they're making it easy on can them. I, can I yeah. think, I, I really have a message to all the young girls out there, okay? It's not about, let's not do the blame game because it's not gonna do anything for anyone. It's, mm -hmm. you've got the power, okay? This is your life, you've got the power. My mother always told me that the man is the head and the woman is the neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can be smart, you can be educated, don't waste your time, don't take away your power by just going on Instagram, being an influencer, not doing anything with your life. And don't play the victim, be nobody's victim. You know what I mean? That's, uh, yeah. That's my thought. Uh, and but, I went more, <laughs> it's also the men's fault because they invest in these girls. It's always the men's it's fault, another, isn't it? I mean, it's the old truth, yeah. It's, every, it's a societal issue. If I'm a girl and if I'm a vulnerable 15 year old girl with no money and I can either get go to sc school and get a long education or there's a guy that's going to pay for my flights and my rent uh, if I just post a thirst trap, you, you're speaking to vulnerable people, not just educated but you, people. In yes, society. yes, but you yeah. have a choice. Do you do you screaming like a little girl or do you die with dignity? Can I just interrupt? Except with one thing, you made a good point about five minutes back. You did say you go to like Jordan, Israel, Afghanistan, mm. or India, or some villages. The women are poor; they have nothing. Maybe no fathers have been killed; mm. they have nothing. Yet you don't see them act that way. But they have a different form of uh, what. You know, that's that's a, a different like, form of that. They marry even if a guy's twenty years older than him. He's got they'll marry into him, and she's fifteen years old because they're in survival mode. So I think what we're neglecting is if we if men investing in these girls, these OnlyFans girls, and start investing in the good girls, there's more motivation to be good. But if I was a fourteen year old in this day and age, I'd be like, I'm just going to work out and get a BBL and it's, make, it's, get a shortcut. It's it's valid. Good point. Thank it's, you. But it, but <laughs> society society society's degenerate. Yeah. It's not men and women. Society's degenerate. It depends on what part of the world, of course, mm -hmm. as well. But especially in the Western world, there are such benefits for degeneracy, yeah. and there's no stigma against it. There's none. It's there's not a stigma. Even the things you're discussing and talking about, I agree with you completely. But a lot of these girls don't feel any shame. They don't feel any ounce of shame. And it's a job. It's no different to a job. We've normalized yeah. it to, to the point where it yeah. just feels like a job for these women. And I think that when I was them, when I was younger and b before, if you were known as in my culture of Pakistani, you know, yeah. you grew up in Luton, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. you, if I even walked into a restaurant with a boy, it would be like, oh my God, she's such a slag. Like straight away, I'd get a label and I wouldn't be able to get married. But now there's, these girls are getting married to rappers. They're having kids with rappers. A stripper is getting married. So what motivation is left for young women when men are dropping their standards in terms of promiscuity? They don't mind a promiscuous woman anymore. I don't think men are ever going to stop wanting to see bikini pictures. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not going to change. That's why I'm saying it's it's up to us. Like I'm saying we really need to make the effort because we are the mothers. You know what yeah. I mean? We're the, I, I just feel like we're taking away from our power. And I, I agree with you in what you're saying because, yes, a lot of girls don't have opportunities, X and Y. That's why I think it's all about education. Yeah. You know, you find a lot of wrong things going on in society, um, mostly in the poor areas as well. So yeah. it is really all about education, I yeah, think. But I do think that's a privilege. I think this, the, the term is like Andrew's mentioned before on podcast, godless. Godless. Godless is a huge split. Yeah. What we're discussing here is, is not universal across the planet, right? Yeah. Mm. The things we're discussing here, the idea of women like you're saying, having a reputation and promiscuity being frowned upon. All those things make perfect sense here. The idea yeah. of a woman sticking to education and not getting a bad reputation and, and working hard, that makes sense here. But in Miami, it's yeah. God. It's completely yeah. it's a godless city. What if I don't believe in God, praise be to God, I do. But if I don't have the idea that God's watching me, what motivation as a young girl with a great body and great looks would I have to go the long route to getting success when there's a man willing to pay me two, three grand just to a uh, feet put pick? Well, I think you know. So why don't we t address the men in not being? But are we all going to be sheep? 
like for example, and a lot of people say he has money. He has. Yeah. He has. Well, why would you become Muslim when you have everything? Why would he want to limit himself in a way? So surely God's given us brains or ways to think. What yeah, is life about? What's the purpose? God is watching, yeah. but it's not just as God watching. Oh, I'm going to go to hell. You know what I mean? I think it, it goes beyond that. I mean, you you still have a brain. God created yeah. you with a brain. Yeah. You 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 should have principles without that. But I think even when it comes to yes, education is a privilege. Yeah. But nowadays, the real influence is on social media. And any kid in Gaza, there's there's a an rapper in Gaza. God bless him. Like he's on social media. He's an influencer. You know what I mean? If, if a kid in Gaza has access to social media, then we can have influence. Yeah. That's why we need more women role models. Yeah, definitely need that. And then the influencers will also become less and less because girls will see. Well, you know what? I do have another chance. I do have another option. Yeah. But since you, the, I think the broader question is, I'd like to ask you two very intelligent ladies. Why do you think society is trying to program women to act this way? Because I believe society is trying to, especially in the West, yeah. it's trying very hard. We're mm -hmm. talking about the advantages of a girl mm -hmm. doing OnlyFans, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, her life can improve. But the, the broader question is, why is all the culture, all of society, the matrix as a whole, trying to destroy the baseline morality of humans, men and women? Because they're trying to convince men not to be men. Everything that was traditionally masculine, mm -hmm. everything I've said, has got me canceled. They tried mm -hmm. to ruin my life for saying a man should be a man. Mm -hmm. And if you say a woman should be a woman and she should protect herself and protect her uh, access to herself and she should not allow men to just view her naked, etc., then you're somehow demonized. Mm -hmm. And they want to yeah. put Cardi B in, in place instead mm -hmm. where she's saying that mm -hmm. everything that um, a woman can get naked and that's fantastic mm -hmm. and anyone who disagrees with it is, is it shaming. Is that yeah, called a thing? Shaming. So why is society doing this? To well, men and women. That's the that's the. Well, I think the if you're breaking down the home, the best and quickest way to do that is attacking the woman. And there's more money in uh, lonely, sad women. We yeah. consume everything. So if I get to a certain age and I'm not married, I'm going to be more likely to be on pr prescription drugs. I'm going to be more likely to turn to surgery. I'm going to be more likely to just indulge. Uh, whereas when you have a purpose, those things all take a back burner. So that's why I think it's completely designed to make more money and to destroy the home and um, make people dependent on. On, and your God becomes social media. Yeah. When you don't have a God and we don't have a stable home, your God becomes society. The laws determine your morality. And the quicker they can get you to believe that God doesn't exist and the law is your source of morality, the quicker they can control you. I think there's definitely an agenda for sure. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, 100%. But I think the only way to fight it is to stick to, you know, to have discipline, to not follow like. Uh, last year I made a decision I went on my Instagram I was like okay I myself am following some influencers so I was like unfollow 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 yeah. more aware of your lifestyle and your surroundings and your friends and what you're consuming on Netflix you know what I mean do you guys follow girls on Instagram no they, they fixed for me <laughs> <laughs> they deleted me from the platform you have it he only has MySpace <laughs> he, yeah MySpace.com that's what honestly, I say honestly yeah, bringing yeah, back my I only follow, follow my wife oh. yeah and yeah. I actually look like that because with the podcast and probably oh. you I think yeah and that's from work relation yeah, work and you can tell yeah. uh, it's nothing more than that and it's I never them? have no I've never you've ever seen me ever uh, follow FHM girls it's like never really you just have to go straight to the message no, no. I'm, not, I'm, not. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm mostly my practice my religion to yeah. the extent I can and for me even if you were to do since I think I'd be ashamed to be public about yeah, it yeah exactly as I'm like you'd be ashamed everything's for privacy these women like you said it's, they're proud of showing booty a man like Men have always been okay, like you said, through society. Like our dads came as freshies on the boats to the UK, mm. saw a white girl, blonde hair. They're probably perved into strip clubs, but it wasn't. A, not, you don't share it. It's just like wow. a thing you do. But women now, making it a public thing is like we're celebrating mm. porn in a yeah. way which was out, like it was seen it's as shameful. a shameful only a few years ago. So yeah. that's what's. Well, yeah, I don't want to take, take responsibility away from men, but women have always been the gatekeepers. Men have always been men. Mm -hmm. I think if you look at any period of history in any part of the world, no matter what the culture, if men had unlimited access to sex, they'd take it. Mm -hmm. I think it's biological for men to be that way, try and reproduce as many women as possible. I think that women have always been the gatekeepers. They've always been the ones who are saying no. And if women break down the gates and no longer say no, then they're going to have promiscuous societies in godless cities like Miami, like I just described. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you in terms of them deliberately trying to destroy the family home. They are doing that. Part of it's for consumerism because they want consumerism to be our gods. That's absolutely mm -hmm. part of it. But another reason is I think a, a lot of the plans that people have who are in charge of the world across the next hundred years are truly draconian mm -hmm. and are truly uh, evil. Mm -hmm. And the things they're going to plan to do to people and the lives are, we're going to be forced to live. And if you destroy the family unit, if you destroy the idea of standing up, the problem is if a man has a family, he'll die for it. Mm -hmm. If a man's woman doesn't listen to him, 
He, his kids he doesn't talk to. When they come along with these draconian rules and bullshit, you're kind of like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll just move <laughs> country or I'll just leave it or I don't care, right? They're trying to destroy the resistance and the resilience amongst the population so they can make slaves of us all. And I think that the family unit is a big part of that. You, yeah, that's right. Well, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because if you have a woman who's truly ride or die, truly by your side, mm-hmm. and kids who truly love you, you're going to stand on that porch with a mm-hmm. shotgun and say, no, you're not coming in this house. Mm-hmm. But when you don't have that, it gets to a point where it's like, not my fight, not my problem. Mm-hmm. And it actually extrapolates not just from the family unit. It goes bigger and bigger. This is the reason why in Western societies, nobody knows each other. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes each other. If you if you <laughs> a street in England... You don't so know true. anyone. You don't yeah, know. Yeah. You can live there your whole life. Yeah. You don't <laughs> talk to nobody. Yeah. And then even if you do start to meet people, you don't like, he's that color, don't like him. He's from there, don't yeah. like him. He likes that kind of car, don't like him. Nobody likes each other. Society is completely degraded. There's no baseline morality. There's no unifying factor. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing. People who think posing on OnlyFans is so empowering. These are the people who cancelled me. They're the same people. <laughs> empowerment is showing your now. ass. Isn't cancel. it? The same women who think empowerment is showing my ass and breasts. Getting yeah. a Chanel bag and uh, do, uh, holding a champagne glass on a private jet, mm. I'm empowerment. That's not empowering. Yeah. For me, that yeah. is prostitution, like you say. And and even you know, I think it was Emily Ratajkowski. I wrote an interesting piece for Russia Today, and I said the joke is on us, ladies. If Emily Ratajkowski is you know going uh, in blurred lines. Blurred Lines was the music yeah, video, video where yeah. they were all basically the girls were all naked, the guys were all dressed in suits, and she said, "I felt so empowered because the woman was a director." The director was a woman, so I felt so empowered being naked, and it's all about, you know, uh, your sexuality and whatever. A joke is on you, girlfriend. You're just giving them a show. What are you talking but about? But can I just say, you know, because maybe because I live in Dubai and I, I, I meet a lot of women who are about that kind of lifestyle. They, there is something about they're able to get a man who they don't even like, pay for their rent, pay for their business, pay for their clinic, and then say bye and send his money back to her boyfriend in wherever she's from. Don't you think that it's twisting the power dynamic? Aren't women becoming a bit more but in control guy, by no, this? No, it's not controlled. Do you think the guy cares? But do you when think God, she cares? No, but that's the whole point. But yeah. she comes across like a pros. Like I said, when she's 45 and the looks have gone and she's chasing now the crack dealers. She's gone from the brokers to yeah. the ballers to the crack dealers for anything. These guys have got their wives, kids. This guy is for him. I stuff for a down side. It's, it's just ejaculating. I know. Men are like this. I used to have a gym. It's like a barbershop. Mm. Married men, especially in England, they go to the gym. They go to these Thai massages mm-hmm. for this happy ending. Like yeah. The woman looks like me with long hair. <laughs> you are yeah. like uh, Burj Khalifa. She looks like me. Yeah, yeah, that right. guy closes his eyes. He has a fix and goes home. All right, she'll put the dinner on. They don't think but it's nothing. Tom, it's men think, are built like yeah, this. I know they don't think it's nothing, but don't you think there's a part of her that when she set her life up and now she's a millionaire and she's got businesses and she might have a kid with this guy, don't you think that a part of her is like, oh, I don't care either. I got where I need to but be. Won't she care? Her will always feel ashamed. Trust me. Like, won't she I, care? I, I, I honestly, well. because if Cardi B doesn't yeah. want her kids watching her music videos, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, come on. You, like, That's what I'm and, saying. And, when and you have to, you, you know, if you're sitting downstairs in the lobby and you're going from, you know, one hour, a different guy, go upstairs, do it. Two hours, go upstairs, yeah. do it. Do you really think a woman is enjoying that? Mm-hmm. Suicide rates for prostitutes is about eight times higher than ever. And I, I'm really curious what the suicide rates will be for OnlyFans girls because it's too early to look at the data. But there's no way that's going to lead to a stable think, outcome in the future. But, but I know what you're saying. I, I think. Even not prostitution. I think you're discussing maybe a gold a digger. Yeah, gold yeah. digger. She gets with some beta dude who has a bunch yeah. of money. I think it I makes think it's, sense for them. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it sounds if, great. If, <laughs> but, but you know what? If they don't sleep with him, yeah. I would applaud her. I would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then she's a hustler. Then you know she's what good. I mean? no, but it's, it's the paradox of femininity. It's actually very interesting because if you look at, they always say nice guys finish last, and most no. beautiful women could get a nice guy who will do anything they want and give them all his money and yeah. be loyal and love them. But women don't want it. But don't so you think don't they, yeah. they don't, exactly want, that. They don't exactly. want this dude? But nice girls feel like they finish last as well. Because nice that girl, girl No, because the girl that doesn't post and doesn't have a BB on, doesn't have a BB on, I disagree with that. A girl her. will always find a man. Do you think so? Always. Mm, well, Men, like he said before, those nice guys work hard all day, not in shape, hasn't got time, pays his bills. Where's he going to, like you said before, he's not going to meet a girl. He's got no confidence. Yeah. Like the story he put before the podcast where his wife runs away with a guy. Oh, kid, he's 45. He's finished. But don't you think there's Women nice at girls, any age can find but a man. But don't you think there's nice girls out there that are cooking, cleaning for their man while he's having sex with random girls on uh, that he's met I, on Instagram? I, I, I get what you're saying, and I, I think that's different. You're talking nice about people. something different, though. Yeah. You're talking about 
don't be an easy girl and don't act like a wife if he hasn't wife no well if you, you know are a I mean? wife i know don't girls that are everything. wives and they yeah. are at home with the kids and yeah. stuff and their husband is stepping out and she gets to 40 with three kids and he's left her for a 23 year old so there are nice girls also for, i think nice people i don't think it's a nice guy thing i think nice people and guys don't realize this i did a video the other, the other day about how men secretly like gold diggers they like entitled women and everyone came for me but the reality is men invest first then love it whatever it is whether it's stock shares crypto once they've invested then they start seeing the value in you before investment they don't so the girl that doesn't ask for anything and doesn't challenge a man she actually loses her value with men but you can still be a nice girl and ask for things you can definitely yeah. be a nice girl and still ask can for I have some money? You, you don't have to <laughs> <laughs> you know? well, I, yeah, no. well, no, I know what you're saying it is, it is interesting but I think that even if you were to look at let's say lonely men lonely women yeah. a lonely woman is a woman with a bunch of choices but she doesn't want any of them a lonely man is a man with no choices, and they're completely different. Yeah. And and I understand what you're saying about the girl who gets a guy who does anything for her and hustles her and, and gets money and the clinic and all this stuff. But girls don't normally want those men. They don't. They want the, they want the top tier guy who does who barely replies. That's the that's the reality. Sorry, you have to it's, look at it's you, very very you, you true. have to look you have to look at us also, not just societally, right? Because a lot of the things we do don't make societal sense. But evolutionarily, we're different. We're animals. We evolved a certain way. And women like the idea of a top tier male, whether physical specimen or status or finances, etc. And that's never going to be the guy who's like the beta who works hard and gives you all his cash. And you have to make a choice as a woman. And it is a difficult choice to make. If I was a girl, I don't know which one I'd choose. But um, <laughs> as a man, do you want the girl that's the hottest girl in the room? Or do you want that simple girl that no one would look no, at? We and want she's the a girl in the room. Yeah, but, <laughs> girl. Yeah, well, but then that's the same dichotomy. That's the same dichotomy that women face. We speak off camera a lot of my friends. Yeah. And we've, we've had private discussions many times. Yeah. And it's always, we should appreciate like, you know, there's women. I spoke to one friend who's very wealthy mm -hmm. and he has a, a baby mother, whatever, like cool. And he goes, you know, why am I spending money on these hoes, sorry to say, like yeah, yeah. term, when I've got a woman who's a ride or die. And he said like, what's her age where I'm, that's it, I'm putting all my effort into her. Whatever happens, I realize it's hour after shower, all women are the yeah, same hour shit. after and same as men. You get used to them, Yeah. the lust goes, and it comes down to who's a rock, who's there, when you had nothing, who's that, and that's mm -hmm. the main key. Who's raising your kid while you're out having fun? Yeah. She's sitting in that house, looking after a kid as men we know babysitting a child for yeah, two hours is easy. like yeah. you know she does 24 7 their meals their mm. education tells them what's right and wrong potty training whatever yeah you, when the older you get you sit back and think you know what that woman deserves but respect. in that process you've hurt her a lot men unfortunately when men have like you said it's not a good thing no men are built the same way without god and then my terms yeah. Allah in the holy book and scriptures if I wasn't a Muslim, I'd be worse than anyone. <laughs> no, my boundaries are set by God. Right. Yeah. But so it's instinctive. You can find men who do not have that, who do not seem to have that desire to go out. And even though, well, let me tell you one more thing first, yeah. societally. Men look at the world slightly different than women. Yeah. We look at the world in terms of like completed tasks. If, you, if a man gets a Porsche, it goes bang, tick off. Okay, I got a Porsche. When am I getting a Rari? That's just it. Yeah. I got a house. Okay, cool. When am I getting a mansion? That's yeah. just how we, and in the world we live in, men are hyper competitive, mm. right? So the second you get something, you're not allowed to really look at it and enjoy it too much. You've got to go on to the next yeah. thing. And unfortunately, we do that with women. We get one to go bang. Okay, she's yeah. a solid chick. She's home. Mm. She ain't cheating. Boom. Okay, mm. let me get another yeah. one. That's just how we are, right? Which oh, is no. part of it societally. But also from an evolutionary perspective, yes, we're evolved to do these things. And you yeah. can find men who don't seem to have the instinct to chase those women. But that's going to be the same man who doesn't have the instinct to chase those money get power, get influence, uh, be the top dog. The top dog is going to be the top dog at everything. Mm -hmm. And if you find that guy, if you find a dude who's out there and he's truly top dog across all spheres, he's not going to ignore this part of his life, hey, unfortunately. Uh, Unless something like religion, but it has to be a conscious decision. Yeah. It has to be something you yeah, decide. Yeah, he has to actively you decide. You have to actively yeah. decide. Yeah, if yeah. you're just going to say, what do I feel like doing? Yeah. Well, I feel like leaving her there and going out with the yeah. boys. Yeah. So what do I feel like doing? A few uh, moments back, he's right. Women do want that bad guy. I remember a guy who was, it was a mugshot. Yeah. He's a model now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his name again? Yeah. Me. Jeremy. Something. Something. Yeah, something. He's, Mix, yeah, yeah, he's handsome. He was yeah. dating but um, everyone was sharing green. this picture. Yeah. Oh, he's so hot. He's a convict. Yeah. Why don't you say the same thing about Jimmy Savile? Because yeah, 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 he's yeah. not hot. Yeah. yeah. yeah but that's what, but this guy's a criminal. So for example, you're yeah, but they're promoting a guy who's had a mugshot. Who knows what he's done? It could have been right. No one cared what he did. Yeah. He's cool. Why? They love that whole image which portrayed through hip hop and movies. Bad boy, cool. And then they say, they complain. Yeah. I haven't got the good guy who works nine to five, loves me, holds my hand, I know. Brush, uh, massages my neck. I've seen yeah. guys do that to a wife. Yeah, and like, I've yeah. been pulled up and go, you, you're not affectionate. 
So, but yeah, isn't so it the same? I know I hate to be this person who's always like, oh, but isn't it the same? We get Laurie Harvey, who's stunning, beautiful. Guys want to be her, but they know she's not. She, she's a Which male. Oh, you know who Laurie Harvey is? No. How do you guys not know who Laurie at Futures? Okay, let's take a so really I mean, hot Queen girl. Rania. Oh, let's take I a. See Queen Rania. You so like a nice girl, yeah. Classy, powerful Classy. Queen Rania for me. Yeah? Like, yeah. A, yeah. Who, who's your celebrity crush? Do you have a celebrity crush? Those no? <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah. the top tier girls who's a sexist and she's also going to come with problems. A set of beautiful girls that are hard work. They're I not think, easy. Like you said, yeah. change with her age and evolve. I've got to that point where I find powerful women attractive. Who right. can raise kids who are side, side by side with her king, like king yeah. or whatever. I love that. Mm. For me, there's some shakers here who are influencers. I respect. I, that's what I see mm. as a woman. When yeah. you're young, yeah. Samantha Fox when you're a young kid, mm. this, that. but. Pamela Anderson, you know, yeah. but that's just perversion. Yeah. So it's also very difficult. Like, I have so much respect for women who really stick by their men and do it for the family. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so hard to find these loyal women nowadays. And I, I really think it's because of the influence of these. You know, and uh, I yeah, mean, I, when a lot of the stigma behind just running to a new man disappears, then it's mm. the answer for everything is yeah. to cure all. That's yeah. the problem with the West. The reason the, the West is impossible to find a wife is because she's been through so many dudes before you. The second you half annoy her 1%, well, her answer is new dude. That's yeah. just her answer. So you, you <laughs> yeah. can't ever have any yeah. half an argument. You, yeah. can't, you can't miss a good morning text. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's very it's, true. It's, it's garbage, right? So you need that stigma there. Yeah. And when that's gone, it's difficult. And relationships as a whole are difficult. If I was a girl, I have no idea what kind of girl I would, what kind of guy I would date. Because do you really want that dude? Mm. Who, like, do you would really you, want that you, guy? Would you date you? That's the thing is, that's a good that's question. A good question. <laughs> would you date you? Yeah, go ahead. I think we should all do. You, you tell me yours. I go on. But let's apl let's apply it to something. Let's look at men like cars. If you want a Ferrari, everyone else is going to be jealous of your Ferrari, and it's going to be exciting, and it's going to be a bunch of fun. But it's never going to be as reliable as a Nissan. To sit and say I want a Ferrari reliable like a Nissan is unrealistic. Right. You have to make a choice. Now, some people choose Nissans because all they care about is reliability. If you're going to be like, I want a guy, like the, you said, the nice guy who does this, this, you can get a Nissan, but any girl can get a Nissan any day of the week and they never seem to want them. But you can, you can go out there right now and find a dude who's going to pay your bills, do this, do that. You're both beautiful very easily. But then you look at the Ferrari and you want the Ferrari. Well, the Ferrari comes with a bunch of problems. It's unreliable, it's expensive, sometimes doesn't want to work, whatever. Oh, yeah. That's it. So you have to choose what kind of guy you want. So you are. I am a thousand percent Bugatti. <laughs> yeah. I am trouble. You're gonna, but, yeah. No, but but I mean, I'll be because we're on a podcast. I'll be brutally honest. Yeah. The kind of guy I am. Yeah. I I believe in taking care of a woman. I think if a woman's mine and I can trust her and she's loyal, yeah. I would make sure she's financially taken care of. I think that's actually how men show a lot of their love. Yeah. I think a lot of love is shown by making sure the house is stable, paid for, finances. Yeah. They ain't got to worry about nothing. I think that's how love is shown. Women primarily show their love through sexual exclusivity. Mm. I'm not saying I'm going to be out there and be a massive cheater or something, but I am the kind of guy who I'm out. Oh, well, you said you're coming home. I said I'm out. Okay. I'll, I'll you. see you tomorrow. <laughs> like, like I'm busy. But, and that's just who I am as a person. But I don't think if, it, if a woman looks at me and goes, I want Tate and all of his status and all of his fame and all of his money, but I want him to do as I say. Well, then you're delusional. So hold on, you're really diplomatic. You still haven't answered the question. Would you, Would date, you date yourself? Yeah. Well, this is the thing. If okay, let me give another politician's answer. Another politician's answer. Women seem to want to date men who are at that absolute tier, top tier of status who they can't control. That's who women choose. Let's forget, like, would I date me? That's who women choose. Let's look at who women as a whole are choosing. When Chris Brown walks in the club and the girl starts screaming, not a single one is thinking, he's going to be loyal and stay home. It doesn't cross their mind. They don't give a shit. It's all status, 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 status. So if you're going to find a guy with that much status and all them options, plus his biological programming, you're going to have fucking trouble. You're not going to have Mr. Dependable. But are you going to attract a good girl? Are you going to attract a wife with that kind of a status? Or are you going to attract a hoe? I think because a wife is going to look at a Chris Brown and th see that lifestyle and think amazing. I, I would love to be with him, but there's no point. We're never going to get married. So, so what kind of woman are you going to attract? Well, with that, that comes into the that's where the game gets difficult, right? Because mm. uh, Chris Brown can walk with that good girl out of the club and he can convince her that he will be good to her. Well, he's blah, not going to find a good girl in the club. Yeah. Well, not in the <laughs> you club. But I mean? yeah. You know what I'm good saying? Girl, still a part of being a good, good girls, girl being a good, good, good girls do not avoid high status males not at all. Good girls, they may not stick around as much or something yeah. like that, but there's good girls do not avoid high status males. High status males do not have any disadvantage across any of the playing fields at all. It doesn't matter if you're a, a high status male who's the most famous man in the world has to, has an advantage with virgins and hoes alike. The exact same. He's that guy. That's it. But do you think they have a skewed vision because they've only been around women that want to be with them, but true wives wouldn't even talk to them? I don't know if that's true. 
Uh, but you'd have a skewed vision if you're a high value man you'd have a skewed oh don't get excited oh. <laughs> if you're a high value uh, successful man you, your filter is naturally certain types of women You, a, a good girl at home she would be afraid to talk to you intimidate you would never come across her in your life no you can still come across her I think oh you, are, you can definitely come across good girls there's good girls everywhere there's good girls but also I'll tell you another thing that, mm-hmm. that a, a, a part of this equation to have the conversation professionally is yeah. a lot of women are a reflection of their men mm. So a lot of women, especially if they're not completely broken, let's say you've had a girl, she's had three or four boyfriends, whatever. Her next man can make or break her. She's a reflection of her man. If her man's a G and he's got his game right and she behaves herself for him, she'll be a good woman. If her next man's doing coke, hitting the club, being an idiot, she goes off the deep end. A lot of women are reflections of their men. If if you see a woman who's been in a relationship for long enough time, if she has any degree of respect for her man, she likes the same music, same pol- political views, same TV Eat shows. the same thing same he Same thing. Yeah. Like she's evolved to do that. Like we can go back from the evolutionary mm-hmm. perspective and how women joined a tribe and yeah. they had to agree with the tribe to survive and mm-hmm. women needed men to protect them. And there's all this to look at. So a lot of women are a reflection of their men. So we talk about finding good girls. I don't think you really necessarily find a good girl. You find a girl who's not yet completely broken and mm-hmm. you're a man enough to make her be a good girl for you. Yeah. That's A lot of women are reflections of their men. So I would argue... A real G finds good girls all day long because well, cr- every girl's like, well, maybe well I'm not cheating cr- on him because yeah. there's nowhere else to go. Like, well, maybe I'm you- not going to go cheat with Mr. Brokey. I'm going to stay with him. Well, maybe We're, you create good girls. Of course you do. Yeah, maybe but that's what it is. You create you them. Of yeah. course you do. But if you're a dork, then then of course you can't find anything good. Yeah. But you're a dork. So like, why would a girl be good for a nerd? <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, this is where a lot of it comes because in Because I know well. you think that girls can meet a nice guy, but there's certain girls, when they look a certain way, the nice guy doesn't even want to talk to them. He doesn't want to approach them. So she doesn't actually access nice guys she ends up accessing the player because he's the one that approaches her the most I think nice guys are trying harder than she'll admit but she just ignores them all do you Wait, think what do you mean if, uh, if you're like a, a beautiful girl and you walk into a room the nice shy guy is not running over to talk to you so her, her pool of men tends to be the confident men that have lots of girls take it or leave it they're mm. the men that she approaches women aren't designed to go scout for a man I agree but yeah. I would argue that her DMs are full of nice guys and their profiles are not interesting enough and yeah. she ignores them yeah. and she goes oh look Spot at this dude yeah. with the yeah. Jack. Wise, maybe. Look at this dude <laughs> with the jack. He doesn't even notice him. Yeah. yeah. Most men are I've invisible to him. But what about the same thing with a guy if he's got hose in his DMs and he's got that nice girl with a private thing and just says I a picture of her and a cat? Would he notice that girl? A cat. Uh, what? a cat. Well, whatever. Her, whatever <laughs> well, it is. Now she's scaring everyone. Yeah. That's why. In, 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 yeah. In, Would he in notice? The, in the. Because I, you've never said anything controversial before. So <laughs> the first time ever. Yeah. No, but the reality is m- men judge women by their looks, yeah. especially initially. So and so do women. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is what we do. If that girl with a cat at home, I'll tell you now, if I found a girl who was a 10 and her Instagram profiles was cats and books and sitting at home, yeah. I, that'd be perfect for me. I have no problems with that. If she's hot. The problem is very few hot yeah. girls live that lifestyle because hot girls have access to uh, a, a whirlwind yeah. Yeah. lifestyle. In Dubai, especially. Yeah. And, yeah. and the world. In the world. And well, the world. So it depends. But I also think that there are a lot of women today are not prepared to actually go through that difficult journey with the man and, and stay with him. And, you know, like, I, I really feel for, for young men, like, yeah. nowadays. It's so difficult. Imagine if you want to marry a girl, she becomes your responsibility. You've yeah. got, like, 7,000 dirhams salary coming in every month. It's so difficult, you know. Like, I have so so much respect mm. for my, my mom who, you know, stayed with my dad. Like, well, he had nothing. Like, we were living in Ras al-Khaimah. Mm. I swear to God, my dad's salary, with no joke, 500 dirhams. Oh. We would eat meat once a week. We'd eat f- we would eat fish once a week. My dad would go to work yeah. with holes in his shoes. And s- she stayed with him. Like, they're together now for, like, f- uh, f- yeah. you know, over 40 years. So It's yeah. beautiful. but th- And this is the thing. The world has changed. And it this is where... Far, the so. world's changed. And this That's is the problem. And this is where it becomes so difficult because especially for a man in the world today, I don't think, unless you're a top tier male, you you can't compete. It's super, I think there's a, you can actually look this up. They did a study on Tinder and they got girls to rate men's attractiveness. And they were showing that men are more gradual and women are very binary. Mm. So they got like a hundred pictures and a guy had to give a rating out of five. And it was pretty even, like there's some ones, some twos, some threes, some fours, some fives. Whereas girls, like 80% were ones and twos, mm-hmm. and then 20% were fives. And the point is, girls are just either like, yes or no. And if you're not in the yes, your life's difficult. Yeah, but it is hard. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's not hard. just looks, it's yeah. a bunch, it's also other things your man can't control. I'll tell you the number one thing that women, can, women are, uh, women always complain about men have expectations of women, etc. If you're a short dude, yeah, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, and yeah. women don't give a fuck. Yeah, we They're do, like, yeah. nah, nah, I should have grown bigger. <laughs> fuck you. Next. What, you do what? 
Oh, mm-hmm. you're rich? Don't care. Yeah. It does, it's hard, right? Care a little and, and, bit. And it's not easy. <laughs> yeah. And what can you do as a short man besides be your best self? Same as yeah. being a tall man. I'm not shitting on them. I'm just saying that. Yeah. As a man, women will wake up and go, yeah, I don't want to too much. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find a man who's rich and strong and interesting and spontaneous and yeah. charismatic and has high status and has time for me and doesn't cheat mm-hmm. and is tall and has muscles so and a Lambo. And where's all the guys? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm busy. I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's hard. It and if you're a normal man. dude, it's especially hard because social media, these women have so many choices. Yeah. And this is where the actual thing comes into it. You look at, let's say, I'm talking about godless societies like mm-hmm. America, etc. And like you said about the the, the, tie, the tie happy finish, mm-hmm. men don't care a lot of the time, right? So if you're an average chick, let's say you're a six or a seven, on a long enough time scale, if you keep answering your DMs, you're going to end up with a G somewhere. Yeah. Even for just two oh, days. Yeah. Fly them out quickly, boom. Yeah. Oh, she, or she's part of a group one time, whatever. Yeah. You're with a G. Sure. Now she, it's going to cross her mind. I, I can get a guy like that. Obviously, he doesn't talk to her again, but <laughs> I can get a guy like that. So when the Mr. Normal comes along, you're like, well, you ain't got a jet. Yeah. So even if you're a normal hard. dude, even the normal girls you talk to have been ruined, have been polluted. Yeah. It's hard. It's super hard for men. Yeah. And, and I do think it's hard for women, but at least... Women have a bunch of choices and it's hard to make the right choice. There are huge swaths of the male population mm. that have no choice at all. But do you think, Zero choice. Do you think unattractive girls have choice? Well, even... Like, let's yes, take an yes. ugly girl. Yeah. Because I would say that it's really hard to be an ugly girl as well because you're so surrounded by it beautiful is. girls. With um, a, a unattractive men, there's other unattractive men that you can relate to. But unattractive women, they're bombarded with beautiful women all around them. If we were to look at the sexual mating, I do think it's hard to yeah. be an unattractive woman. Especially going into a club or something, oh, com- you won't want to go. Completely. But if you were to look at the mating choices of an unattractive female mm-hmm. and the mating choices of an unimportant man, yeah. I would argue the unattractive female still has unlimited choices compared to that unimportant man mm. the unimportant man when i say unimportant i'm dude works at starbucks yeah 42 dude like mm. his choices are zero there's yeah. zero. that chick can still go to the club if she drops her level she'll be fine i've seen girls uh, <laughs> stuff back in the old days we used bullying at school yeah. <laughs> she's got nits yeah you had <laughs> she's got nits she's yeah. it, schools are messed up yeah. there'll always be one had no friends Aww. smelt from yeah. a bad bless them mm. i <laughs> see these i went back a few years ago i saw this girl who was literally the loser. ripped for whole life with a, the cutest mixed race kids walking and yeah. stuff fly god judge me i was like who how like <laughs> some quiet my brother yeah. like makes a joke i will put on a podcast but she found a guy she slept with a guy and she's got a child now yeah she's like you know she was happy ch- playing with a kid the kid was beautiful i was like wow even she found but guys he's right women guys are unfortunately will sleep with anything i'll tell you another thing I'll tell you another thing that's that's different about the dynamics is Men don't often leave women. Mm. Now, what we will do is we will start treating a woman like shit. Yeah, so 100%. Uh, if she leaves, right? But this is the point. So if you're a woman, let's say you're in her scenario, right? She gets with some dude, gives her a kid, whatever. That dude finds a better option. As long as she's a good mother to that kid and she doesn't stress him too tough, she'll always be looked after to a degree and she'll always once a month have a dude to see. He ain't going to leave her because that's ticked box. What did I say earlier? Tick box, boom, that's it, done. Women leave men. It's different. Women will wake up one day and go, fuck you. Oh, but I've worked my whole life in the sewage plant. Don't care. Fuck you. And now he's 44, overweight, very average wage, no Instagram account. And he's like, he's done. Not just that. Please, let's talk about the women taking all of the men's money. All his money. Like, oh, yeah, that's take, awful. I mean, I, I've heard so many stories yeah. from guys in their 50s and in their 60s. The, the wife cheated on him. She left him for a younger guy also. Yeah. Left him the kids and took all his money. That's and now crazy. he's broke, sitting at home, lonely, missing her. But I do think that's she's structural. Him I do think they're, that's They're the shaitans. They're yeah. the shaitans of this. Yes, they are yeah. trying to they're put men off marriage. Yeah, but this trying is it. They're trying to put men off marriage. It's amazing how it comes full circle. Yeah. You're right. So mm. when they've polluted the female mind where that's a genuine risk and now yeah. you're living in America and you're getting married doesn't make any sense to you as a man. It makes no sense for a man. So then what are you going to be attracted to? Instagram hosts. Yeah. I didn't get married anyway. It's all part so of now, the So now it goes process. full circle. Yeah, you end up back of, where you started. It's all yeah. part of the plan. It's, it's not even women's fault. It's governmental to destroy homes. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Remove the motivation for marriage so then people become reckless yeah, and but, children don't have a home. Mm. Whilst we've got, we've got the man in the room now, yeah. I've never really watched a podcast with him with two ladies facing him. Ooh. And I saw in all the press, <laughs> yeah. he's like, I've had to defend him because I know him very well. Yeah. He's a misogynist. He's this. Have you ever seen an issue with him? I want to know, as a woman, 
Now you're on the camera. Yeah. This is going to go on. Tell the world I'm horrible. You've you got to both have your opportunity. Yeah. From everything you've seen, Ed non edited. Yeah. What was your issue or what's your non issue? Well, the with first it? time I saw be you honest. speak on something, I, I remember I wasn't really watching the TV. I just heard it in the background. It must have been on my phone. And I heard you say something. And I was like, is that guy Pakistani? And then someone was like, no. I was like, he's definitely Pakistani. You were saying something that was very familiar for me. I'm Pakistani. So I was like, he must be. And then I found out you grew up in Luton. So I was like, that makes sense. All Everything he says, I'm so familiar with it. I would expect nothing less the men I'm around would think exactly the same way so I don't find it shocking or misogynist I'm raised like that well, the, do you like agree with it that's not about what you're used well, to now I'm asking with what his stance is yeah. do you agree as a woman because he and gets what, a lot of backlash but he made a good point yeah I've been around him nearly every day sometimes yeah. I've never seen a woman in public come and say something bad so right. I want to know who are these women? Is it a movement? I want to know because I've would, never seen anyone say it I would say, say one thing. I would say sometimes it can be divisive. Like like what we're saying, nice guys finish yeah. last, but sometimes nice girls do. And I think let's try and remove the v division and focus on society Agreed. rather than just men have this really bad. I get men have it really, really bad. Um, but society is shit. Women yeah. have it bad in some ways. Men have it bad. I think women are becoming more and more detrimental. I think that, but it's not really entirely their fault. It's the way society is now structured. So I think let's try and f less this div division and more how do we fix this because I want to see families I want to see and sometimes what happens is it's not you but your followers I always say your followers are this loser guy who's never had options who now starts saying fuck women women and it's like but you haven't earned that status you can't speak like that because you haven't done the legwork it she's takes she's this in the war room bro <laughs> she's this in your hustlers university yeah, bro no, I get <laughs> they're putting in the work though they're in some way putting the work but it's the guy with no not being in the work who's just listening the problem is when your message lands on men without money it doesn't land properly because they're just saying I want lots of women I want lots of hoes but it's like you can't fund those women and you can't get those women to submit to you Correct. so you can't emulate Andrew Tate but you want to and so that's where the, we need to educate them in order to have your views they have to have your lifestyle valid that, that's very valid mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like I do say it a little bit but I need to say it more but okay. I, I say repeatedly that if you're not, I hear if you you're say not talk to your male yeah. you can't life sucks and I agree with you about the yeah. divisive thing as well yeah. The only reason some of it comes across divisive, I think, is because a lot of the time, especially in America, I'm arguing against rabid feminists, yeah. right? So I'm trying to say, look, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But no, that's valid points. Okay. So that's the only issue. No, that's the only well, issue for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Lubna, it's good you actually met. Lubna is the one who wrote an article from, like backing us when we were doing that event here. Yes. And as an Arab lady here, it was very good and empowering because I've noticed one thing, the Western women don't like to feud with Arabic women who are educated. I've noticed that, they fear them. Yeah. Like with Lubna, when she posts, I see her comments, there's not really anyone going against with me. F you, you're this, you're scum, <laughs> you've got a wife in a picture there without a hijab, your kids are that, like, I get this abuse because, yeah, you know, but Lubna, what, like, what was your issue with his uh, whole cancel? Did you have an issue? What was your issue with Dubai in itself or some Middle Eastern pockets, of, pockets of Middle Eastern women, this new generation are having an issue apparently online? Look, I think that for, for, for you to be, be as famous as you are today, you had to do things in a certain way. You had to be extra controversial. And, and now you got, you got here, you know? Yeah. I think the reason a lot of the women were pissed off because it's kind of like you're, you're just turning in the <laughs> knife, you know what I mean? Telling them like, ooh, we can do this, like we've got, you know, and you can't, you know? Yeah. So I think now that you do have that platform, you can actually be really helpful to a lot of women. I think a yeah. lot of women do agree with a lot of things mm -hmm. that you said and men, mm -hmm. um, but they don't necessarily like the delivery because it's just a little bit like, you know, kind mm -hmm. of like pissing off. But it's know? an amazing platform to create um, because you won't believe how many racist little white boys are now saying, oh, I want a Muslim girl, I'll do, I want a Muslim. And I'm like, oh, look, you completely yeah. eradicated yeah. Islamophobia. Yeah. And it's something like Mo Salah did for a little while in Liverpool. Like they really actually become, and I think yeah. anything that, from my perspective, anything that can draw light to a face that I feel really passionate about, I'm always grateful for whoever shines a torch on that. So I won't grateful. even say it's uh, young white boys, because if you go to Russia, yeah. the men are the same as me, same as us, Russia, yeah. East Europe. These kind of places, they're very alpha male, they're very yeah. old school, traditional. Very traditional, I think traditional, it's the Western, yeah. real so Western Islam pockets. Islam comes naturally to alpha men. It kind of is a natural transition because it teaches alpha kind of behavior anyway. Like, so, yeah. uh, I know people like this, little dislike this, but Vladimir Putin, a lot of people have a negative thing. I find him, I see him as a very powerful and influential man. I respect him. Yeah. Mm. And people say, oh no, I don't. See, people run around and watch the press, how they take it, and the media portrays yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. But if you really study the situation, I respect him as a leader. Yeah. I've been to Moscow many times. Crime's quite low. It's, it's organized mafia kind of thing. Yeah. You won't see stabbings and acid attacks. Mm. Women are safe. 
it's still traditional. Women are really well treated in Russia. Like you have, Dubai, an, issue, yeah, yeah. You have an issue with your wife, you can call the wife's father. Mm -hmm. He comes and fixes it. You don't go to a therapist. <laughs> when she goes, leave him. You're free. You're yeah. free. Lev yeah. therapy. <laughs> Pay me more money. The man's evil. That's why I hate therapy. Yeah. I'm being nice. Yeah. yeah. I know you're a therapist, but yeah. <laughs> to an extent in the West. Yeah. So I think it's not just the white race. It's uh, pockets of the country where, like you mm. said, this agenda is being pushed. US, yeah. UK. Yeah, but these are completely societies. failed nations. They're yeah. completely failed society. If you mm. look at any, by any metric you can measure a society, whether it's birth rate, crime rate, happiness Let's index, yeah. safety, literally anything you can name, these societies are failing daily. Mm. They're getting worse. They're decaying empires on every single level. And it's no mm. coincidence that obviously the, the men and women are, aren't acting right. And that's yeah. all messed up. Mm. It's actually, got, it's kind of funny for me because every time I meet women who are attractive physically, they're like, oh yeah, Andrew, he's not not big deal today. But the women who hate me are, all, whenever you show, when someone yeah. does a video on Andrew Tate, I can look at the thumbnail and go, she likes me. <laughs> She's hot. Yeah. She's fine. Do you know what? Bodies love me. It's always know, some troll. But do you know what it is? Attractive women get an insight into a lifestyle that unattractive women are unaware that they even exists. They don't understand. So when that's they right. say things like, oh, we spend and they're, they're, you know, we look after our women, they've never accessed that. So they think that's misogyny. And it's like, no, no, honey, it's amazing. Trust me. Yeah. So they don't understand what it looks like. And therefore they come at it with a negativity. But I do think it, uh, appearance plays a role, both men and women. When I see red pill men that hate women, it's always a guy on computer games and this and the other. Whereas when I see people like you who actually, you can tell you love women. Regard, and part of being an alpha man, you love women. We love but good women. Love yeah. good women, yeah. You love good women. You can tell you guys love women. There's no hate towards women. It's just this is the, how life is. But when you meet the people that hate men or they hate women, it's because they've faced a lot of rejection. Yeah. And the best way to deal with rejection is to minimize the thing that's rejecting you. So they end up just hating the opposite. And that's it. And I also understand what you're saying also about some of my fans can misunderstand what I say. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I understand yeah. That, but, but it's okay. Same with anybody. When I wrote the article, honestly, uh, the title, the article is called um, What's So Wrong About Andrew Tate? Oh. And a lot of people were like, you know what? We thought we were going to get pissed off by the end of the article, but we actually really liked him. We don't really like Andrew, but now we're kind of like, okay, he's not pissing us off as much. Yeah. How do you feel about being so famous at the moment? You've great. survived cancellation. <laughs> yeah, how does it feel being uh, famous? Yeah. Saying that, that guy's got a sniper bullet in that <laughs> 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 how, how, how does it feel being that? Because the thing is, most people who become famous usually through a sport, or th which you did, but maybe sport or acting. So there's a long way coming to it. When it's social media, it can be overnight. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, in regards to people disliking me, like you're saying, getting to the end of the article, not really disliking me. Uh, in my experience, I've never had a single person in me, see me in person and say a single bad thing ever. Every single man, woman, everyone just is, is positive. Um, there's some lifestyle changes. I don't go out the house very much. <laughs> but I didn't do it to become famous like that. Yeah. But I, I do feel a massive responsibility. Like when I was saying a lot of my, my more crazy things, yeah. I was saying the same ideas in a more crazy way. But now I understand with a much larger platform, mm -hmm. you must be responsible with it. Mm -hmm. and even like you were saying about mm -hmm. fans taking things out of context, yeah. et cetera. So I try and be a little bit more responsible yeah. with it while not selling out and getting my point across. Of course. I just feel a sense of responsibility mainly. Well, I you're in a position where you can actually create homes in people's lives now. Yeah, yeah and so y y with that, you can actually make a really important difference. Yeah. Like I didn't set out to change the world, but I kind of feel like I'm getting here it. now. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I have to be very careful yeah. with what you say, but this is yeah. why I push the idea of masculine excellence. And when I do say things like Big G can do what he wants, da, 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 I'm yeah. talking about Big G. I'm not talking about no, dude. Yeah. I'm not talking, talking about dude. Yeah. And, and, and I get a lot of emails. I get over 10,000 emails a day, and I get mm -hmm. emails from people going, oh, I'm just a normal guy. What do I do? And like, then you're a normal dude. You can't play by the rules we're even discussing. Just live a normal it, life. Live a normal yeah. life, yeah. right? Yeah, it, and, and he goes, well, I don't want this life. I said, well, then you have to become an important man. Yeah. And it's exceptionally difficult to do. That's the road but you know, that has to be I would always argue that, is that there's so much beauty in having a normal, simple life because those without options are, tend to be more satisfied with what they get. It's kind of like when you go to a restaurant, there's so many options, you don't like whatever. Yeah. But when it's a home cooked meal, just one meal, you're always more satisfied. So people without options are actually in a privileged position. You don't have to try and be this person. It's not always greener. Being uh, limited means that you're more satisfied. So enjoy it. In many ways, yes. I can <laughs> yeah, but, but <laughs> yeah. again, that's harder with society. It's yeah. easier said Social than done. Media, yeah, it's easier. The pressure that's on men is immense. The yeah. pressure, like I said earlier, for the things people expect yeah. out of a man are, are immense. Oh. And yeah, and most men, I'm not even just talking about from a sexual perspective. You can look at it from an entire societal perspective. Most men are, are incapable of doing what society expects of them. Yeah. Women go to men and say, we have a problem here. And men will say, okay, don't worry, I'll fix it. 
The man doesn't have a fucking clue what it makes mm. it. He ain't got any money. <laughs> he ain't got any friends. He's yeah. a brokey, but his chick needs yeah. to fix. So he's like, oh, shit. How do I fix it? He yeah. can't sit there and go, don't know, babe. You <laughs> fix it. Because then she'll leave. Yeah, so, she'll like, leave. The, the pressure on men yeah. in, in all She won't leave spheres. straight away, but she'll definitely leave. Oh, sooner yeah. or later. She'll definitely leave. So you're right. So you've got to be that guy. And it's like, it yeah. doesn't matter what it is. You, you wouldn't believe. Pam will confirm it. When you're like the top tier in your life, you end up being the top tier of not just your relationship, but almost like a clan. I have almost 100 people who yeah. will come to me with their biggest problem. Yeah. I know 100, I can name 100 people right now. If they got arrested or if the worst thing happens, <laughs> they get one call, <laughs> Tate, right? Yeah, and you yeah, end up so having true. to be this guy yeah. who can do everything. Like, whether they need a vaccine guy. passport <laughs> or you're gonna get about a jail in Russia <laughs> or they need a million dollars. You're like, oh, yeah. whoa. So you end up being this guy. And if you're not the kind of guy who can fix a bunch of problems, you, you soon, especially women, They'll be fast. Women will come to you and go, oh, this. And you're like, oh, I'll fix it. If you're like, oh, I don't know, bro. I think it's also so competitive. And you can never show weakness. You always need to be strong. It's like, you know, sharks in the water. If they smell blood, like, khalas, you're done. Especially in the world of business, Andy. There are so many men who are so successful, but... Yeah, Haram, the, the amount of pressure that they're under, yeah. these guys are like popping Xanax pills. They're I don't want to lie, this is, I don't even show him. I get DMs for him. And like you said, I get these requests. People think I'm a shake and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> the stuff I get things from, can you help me with money to, can you get me out of jail to, yeah. can I have that car? We, and we're responsible for a lot of people. Yeah. Because you end up looking after people who are close to you and yeah. don't have the same so thing. Yeah, but I get easy. a lot of emails and some of them, you can tell they're genuine. I see the profile, I, you know, I can see of guys who are saying, if it wasn't for him and some of his videos, I was literally, she, she left me, I had this, I was suicidal and I believe it. I can yeah, tell yeah. from a man how he's written. I can tell a fake one, who wants a selfie yeah. to a real message, yeah? And uh, how he feels confident. Some of his videos, the way he just goes, shut F her, like, yeah. his delivery helps men. Yeah. You'll think some people, women don't understand, it's, men need that. Yeah. Men need that they kind need of shouting, this, that, like the old football coach, the boxing manager, yeah. Yeah. Stalin, whatever, mm. like that kind of autocratic. Mm. Like that is what sure. makes men move. Like, yeah. like sure. Saddam Hussein, you need those powerful figures. Yeah. Where they go, look yeah. at society. Mm. The iron fist goes, men just go. Oh, but right. you, I think that they need to realize that being a high value man isn't for everybody. And being with a high value man isn't for everything. If you're a girl, you know that being with a high value man is not always great. You don't get emotion, you don't get them on standby whenever it's you want. That. It's not always portrayed. that. I think it's oh, yeah. get confidence. Get yeah. confidence. Don't be, feel like Fulfill your, your potential. Don't be have confident. to be the best, but be, fulfill your potential. Sense your world around chasing some woman. Or yeah. that's, that's very important. Yeah. But one thing I want to go before we soon wrap it up is. I, all the viewers know you've got you'd be uh, revert to Islam and everything. Obviously, I know yeah. Yeah. video went viral. Yeah. Yeah. But um, how's your life changed in any way? How do you feel? I mean, it's been a bit of a while now. Welcome What's to changed? the club. How, how, how you feel life changed? You feel a bit the, relaxed? The, 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 you feel bro- more yeah. the, the brotherhood is amazing. Yeah. That's the first thing I will say. It, it, you want to cure racism? Islam cures racism instantly. Yeah. It's amazing the brotherhood. Yeah. That's certainly there. I certainly do feel more relaxed. I feel like. Uh, I always had faith to a degree, so it's not like I'm brand new to the idea mm-hmm. of faith, but I certainly feel more relaxed. I feel like a lot of the things which I knew were degenerate, but especially when you're, you kind of get to a weird, fame was a weird thing, also to answer your question. When you're kind of on your way up to fame, or you're getting famous, or you're or quite famous, you want to be in the place you're supposed to be, right? And then you get to a level of fame where you just don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> it's just oh. like, but a lot of things, I, it, it's it's great to look at things that previously I would have felt like for work I should be at, or for social, because people I know I should be at, and just, just go, haram, no. Oh. <laughs> haram, no. no, staying home. <laughs> so uh, that's good. Um, What's the hardest thing so far? Is there anything? Nothing's been hard. I've quit alcohol. That hasn't been difficult. Yeah. But I've always had insane willpower, so I can do anything I want to do. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's a journey. There's a lot to learn. Mm-hmm. It can be quite daunting. Mm-hmm. You know, like even the language, even Arabic, yeah. it's very hard to learn. Mm-hmm. So I'm just on a journey like everyone else, and I'm trying to study it. So, so give us some Arabic words. Let's, uh, let's hear uh, some. All I know so far is halas, because like, <laughs> this is the easiest word, halas. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very hard. So yeah. I'm, do- I'm doing my best with it. But uh I think like I've explained before on other podcasts, it's the only religion that that's left on the planet worth that has serious boundaries. I saw actually um, an uh, Islamic guy, uh, an Islamic podcast. I don't know who he was, who said Tate reverted to Islam because it's intolerant or because it's degree of intolerance is because of its strict lines. And people are trying to walk away from it because of its strict lines. But Tate understands the beauty of strict lines. And that's exactly what it is. You need to have boundaries in life. Everything we just discussed, if you remove boundaries, it becomes a free for all, right? So you need to have that. Oh, that's a very good point he made because I've not seen that. I like to watch that because 
I see young, I speak to guys about Muslim, Islam all the time and young boys, and I see them trying to chase that Western mm. kind of way of life. I want to be this, that. When you've got a guy who has it all in this world, Crazy like you say, yeah. yeah, he comes to Islam. So to all you young guys, feel ashamed. Like, yeah. don't feel shy or embarrassed to be what you are in a Muslim and be proud. Yeah. Like, I've always been that. Yeah. I could be in a meeting, anywhere, everyone knows me. I won't touch alcohol, I'll pray in mm. the corner. And I think a lot of Muslim women are tending to shy away. And I'm mm. sorry, we need more women to put, like, they see it as a, oh, it's kind of like a controlling the hijab. When millions and millions of women wear the hijab willingly yeah. as a sign of empowerment. So Modesty I think yeah. men, we have like uh, people to look, I think women are in a problem in the crossroads of life where there's no role models. They're, they're chasing this hunky dairy, f stupid fairy tale. Mm -hmm. They're ashamed of being modest. And uh, I've got two daughters and I'm thinking which cave to move into when they're 16. <laughs> I yeah. think uh, Russia. I would, yeah. I would personally yeah. recommend Russia. But um, I think also you can't have it all. You need to know that you cannot have it all. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Life is all about, you know, there's a quote I love, which is if you don't sacrifice for what you want, what you want becomes the sacrifice. You just got to do it. Like if you want a nice body, you have to go to the gym like every single day. Nothing comes easy. It's not like, okay, now we have Uber. Uh, we have Uber Eats. We have everything. Everything is now quick, quick, quick. People need to understand that things take time and you, you have to sacrifice. You can't just mm. get it easy. and. Um. Yeah, I think that's been a good discussion. It's yeah. good to see. Let the audience see ourselves. This was not planned. No one's been paid. Both yeah. women, mm. different backgrounds, and mm. they yeah. kind of support what Andrew says. So that shows that maybe the media are p portraying lies and trying to cancel him for a reason. Who knows? Yeah. I know. Should I do it? Try and kind of <laughs> fucking cancel me? I'll tell you. They're trying to cancel me not because of the things I'm saying. Because the things I'm saying are understood. In fact, most of the world today, like you said, mm. they're widely accepted. In, even in the Western world, in the heart of the failed societies, 20 years ago, everything I say would be considered as a fact. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to cancel me not because of what I say, but because of the mass amount of influence I have. Yeah. They look at me and they say, young boys listen to Andrew more than they listen to all the other propaganda mechanisms we've constructed. They don't listen to the people in school who are mm. telling them bullshit. They don't listen to the other YouTubers that we prop up that tell them bullshit. Yeah. They're listening to Andrew, but they're thinking for themselves. And yeah. they're scared. This is the number one demographic on the planet that the people in charge of the world are afraid of. Because yeah. when you send men to die in a ditch, you need young military age males. And when young military age males rebel mm. against a system, mm. that rebellion is a revolution. Mm. If enough th if thousands of men get in a group on the street, governments change. Yeah. Yeah. Women get in the street, no one cares. Yeah, yeah. pink hats, don't give a <laughs> shit. Not interested. Yeah. It's gonna get cold, they'll go home. Yeah. But the men, it's different. And they're scared. They're scared of young military age yeah. men uniting against the control mechanisms of the matrix, and they see me as the person who's doing that. Aristotle had to kill himself. Uh, sorry, Socrates killed himself after being arrested. He was arrested for corrupting the youth by convincing them not to join the army and end up committing suicide. It's the same thing with me. They tried to cancel me because of my influence. Mm. So I'm saying this now so everybody knows at home that I would never, ever, under any circumstances, no matter what they say, kill myself. <laughs> ever. Hell. So yeah. that's hilarious. So we'll but did, did you know that I was in England recently? I used to be a teacher, but one of my teacher friends said to me, Oh, in PHSC lessons, which is like those yeah. houses, they're teaching them not to listen to Andrew Tate. Yeah, oh no, I, I know this. Did you know that? That? Sorry, someone I was said so me that I thought it was a prank. No, no, no she real. told me. Kids in the, are saying she it showed to me, me the lesson. They're saying, Can you say something? I'm like, yeah. Is this a photo? No, 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 she showed me her lesson plan. It was like how to come on. Ignore this man because this man and what do I teach? I teach teach personal responsibility, personal accountability, resist the slave mind, think for yourself, train hard. I don't know why I say that's negative compared to all of the mm. music stars singing about drugs, rape, murder, kill. Yeah. Little Nas is dancing on the devil in his music videos. All of this is fine. But when you come along and say, think for yourself mm. and don't and don't accept the Matrix programming at, at, at face value, yeah. then you must go. Then also, you're an enemy of the system. Also, I just have to say, you're wrong about nothing happens when all if all the women go to the street because Y'all not gonna have anything to eat for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, true, true. Sorry. anyway, yeah. just also want to thank you, like, yeah, Tam, so much for giving us a platform and also, you know, like, backing up your friend, Andrew yeah. Tate. Um, no, I'm just yeah. like, I'm straight. You know, we know each other a long time and you can't sway. When men have, like, you can never, I've told Anna many times or other people, mm. give me a billion dollars cash to denounce Islam, I won't. A billion dollars cash fill up this room, a lot of people will be like, yeah, you know? You mm. can never do it, you can never make me sway another way. Mm. And I've been like that, and he's like that, and that's why certain people get along, oh. because you have the same kind of Have you of guys thing. known each other for a while? Been around oh. the circle. Stop, how well, long? It was the 1960s. What was he like before all of this? Always, I always see him <laughs> popping up somewhere. You know? <laughs> I can tell a man's character when they fight, and I remember mm. when I first saw him, he's younger than me, mm. and he was lean and tall, and he fought uh, a few of the tough guys on the circuit, and uh, you could never beat, like, he'd always go to the end, it, we had an Iranian guy he fought who was a notorious guy, Reza. He was on the streets wrecking, mm. I don't want to say his name. 
in in jail, feared mm. what six second knockouts, and there was about I I don't know how old he was. Eighteen. And, 18. I, was, and I remember that fight because I was really sick. That Having week. a war with one of the toughest guys. Not, not a, only not in the professional case. fight, like professional. Oh, professional. But okay. This guy was feared. Like literally, right. this guy fought Jimmy Manoa, who right. was a, like a UFC fight on that level in okay. those days, ahead of his time. Feared out of jail. Good friend of mine, you know, but yeah. a complete nutcase. And um, he was hanging there. And you look at him, you think, no, what? This is a mismatch. And he's <laughs> they're going to war. He yeah. won, but you'd have to kill him. I'll make sure, and I remember then he was everyone would book him then because so when you see a guy in a fight you can see a lot about him. Right. You can't hide under the lights of the ring. You right. know, there's an old saying: you, all the training comes out when you're in that ring. Right. So you can't be a world champion and be a clown or a, you know. It's, it takes a lot of things. A lot of men will never understand or feel. And I always mm -hmm. say to every man: you want to feel the ultimate feeling, apart yeah. from having my kids, of, of course, but um. being a Muslim, but is winning a fight. I don't care who you yeah. are, money, yeah, money, drugs, you Primal. say it, really? there's no it's feeling, there's right? no feeling like, to any man winning a fight, put your hands up, the people, I'm not lying, it's from the beginning of time, from wars, from yeah. Khalid bin Walid to Genghis Khan to yeah, Alexander, power, yeah. Napoleon. And losing has the same negative effect, no, But like then depression. it's the hunger of going back, oh, okay. it dif differentiates the men from the boys right. as well. Mm -hmm. But any man who steps in that ring or cage, you respect their warriors because it takes a lot. We were saying that we went to an arena the other day to watch a game, but that feeling of you're backstage getting wrapped, you hear someone's been knocked out, you're next, the cheers, it's like this tunnel, it's like the Coliseum. It doesn't matter where you fight. And it's an alpha male thing, and that's, oh. that's what men and women are different. And I could, to every guy out there, you have to experience it once. Yeah. It changes your life. Yeah, you, every man needs his ass kicked once his life right. to be a man, in my right. opinion. Yeah. And the guys who are cocky, stupid, and Larry, and all these guys who are against him, have never had a fight in their life or been hit. Yeah. I'm telling you. Speaking, it, it, speaking of the World Cup, I, I mean, we're talking about sports yeah. happening now in Qatar. Um, do you think Cristiano is going to retire? I think for four million a week, no. <laughs> for what I'm here in Saudi, and I think he can do what he wants. I respect yeah, him. I like him want, as yeah. a man. Legend of the sport. I think everyone's day comes in sport. Like, uh, How old is he now? 30, 30, 36, 37, 36, but for football. Yeah. It's like Andrew, he gets, I get calls all the time and I'm saying to him, I'm the one saying to him, don't fight. For what? You're a world champion, you're, you're wealthy. Guys who fight are broke. I'm being yeah. honest, like, it's a passion to an age and then when you keep fighting, you then see these ex-pros, mm. it's a paycheck. Mm. Yeah. You can tell me all you want, they're fighting for a paycheck, you but don't you need to. you lose your legacy like that. It's not about legacy. Yeah. It's hard to wake up from silk sheets and go running in the morning. There's an yeah. old saying. He's got two daughters, that legacy yeah. is... Yeah, uh, that's the thing, but Cristiano hasn't got nothing to prove. And now it's about business and money, you can do yeah. what he wants, but... Yeah. For my point about the Qatar World Cup is the West is racist and biases. It's just got but to stop. But they showed themselves though, because so many positive things have come out of Qatar. They yeah. showed themselves. I think that they're that an example. This, yeah. I think for now, Alcourt Stadium should be banned because yeah. I was there at a game, English and Welsh, you know, normally with cocaine and alcohol there, someone's getting bottled, head butted, mm. someone loses. There was no violence. Everyone got Beautiful. on. The place is safe. And I think that's a testimony to the GCC and the government of Qatar. Their stance, they stood firmly against that rainbow agenda, mm -hmm. they took the stick, and I respect that. A lot of people would have caved in and gone, okay, yeah, let's put flags that. everywhere, let's put rainbows, and let's yeah. heal the world. They said no, and you know, the West can say what they want, but I respect them. As yeah. a nation, I really... Two, it's two, a beautiful two, place. Yeah, two points about that. One, we just said, or you just made the point earlier that by restricting things and removing things, life can be better if you actually place boundaries, and we just mm -hmm. talked about it with the alcohol and stadiums, that's a perfect example of it. And also to tie into what we're saying earlier about agendas and how the Matrix are doing things on purpose. What the fuck has football got to do with this agenda at the time? They're yeah. completely unrelated. They've just taken something popular, the most popular sport mm. in the world, and they've taken one of their agendas they've yeah. tried, and they've yeah. just fucking stuck them together and said, fuck you. And it's yeah, bullshit. It's, it's garbage. It's insanity. It's nothing time, to do with each yeah, other. Yeah, the half time will be spent talking about LGBT issues. It's nothing it's to insane. do with each other. I it, didn't even realize it was football on. I just thought it was an LGBT program. Matrix and then programming. I realized, yeah. Matrix programming. They're trying very hard. Matrix <laughs> programming. And, and like I said. Like and they're winning said. in that regard. They've indoctrinated most of the world. But who's your money on today? Morocco or France? I'm praying for Morocco. Pray for Morocco. Sure. Morocco. 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 Let's pray It'll for Morocco. Historic. It'll Inshallah. It'll be historical, but... Paris, is, listen, Paris is getting set on fire either. <laughs> <laughs> Paris exactly. is burning. For sure. Paris, if not. you have a Lambo in Paris, oh, put it in the garage. I feel sorry this, for yeah, Parisians it's done. tonight. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Lucky. It's going to be a nightmare tonight. But no. Inshallah, let's see. But it's no. still good that they got this far. Oh, it's amazing. amazing and uh, yeah. Even though football, we don't really care for football. It's not your sport? Not your thing? For me... Individual sports, like we said, for me, the ultimate sport is fighting from the beginning of time for the Greco Romans, mm. Spartans, Mano. Man, that, for me, that's the only sport. Football is good and things, but listen, you there's no sport like it. combat, mm. of course. And uh, like when you're younger, like I remember I was young, you, you go to a club, yeah, there's like Ronaldo, Gaza, Lineker, 
But when Mike Tyson's sitting in the corner, everyone's yeah. like, wow, yeah, yeah. Yeah. alpha. He can beat everyone up. He's rich. It's Tyson. Ronaldo wants a selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. in, comes, comes, that comes. There's a different... Out- all Any the man movie, who's all watching, the movie stars go to the big boxing matches for yes. a reason. Yeah. Every man watching or kid will say you can have any sports star. Djokovic, I mean, who cares? All right, nice guy, but yeah. Djokovic is over there. That's great. There's Mayweather. There's uh, yeah. Khabib. Fighting has this thing as kids. We like t man We like WWF. We like Rocky Balboa. It's instilled in them since the yeah. beginning of birth. So mm-hmm. you can't change that. Yeah. As much as you want to push an agenda to wear a skirt yeah. or play with Barbie. Yeah. Men and men. Men love He-Man. Tough to survive. I'm the hardest. Since in the back of school parks, you're fine. I'm the strongest I am, headlock punching your brother. Yeah. And I know we're supposed to be wrapping up, but that is innate and it's biological and that's what they're attacking. That's yeah. what's happening here. They're trying to attack that and say that that's not the idea of masculinity. You don't have to be that way, etc. And the point I want to make about all of this, the final point about it is how dangerous that truly is because yeah. this idea of masculinity being under attack and people saying that, you know, men don't have to be real men. They don't have to stand up and and do what they're supposed to do and have a hard time. They can be more emotional and Mm. be softer, et cetera. Mm. Do you know what you get when you get men who can't control their emotions? Violence. Every school shooter, every fucking rapist, every murderer. These are men who cannot control their emotions. You tell a man, I say uh, the part of being a man is acting the right way regardless of how you feel. Whether you're happy, sad, you have Mm. to act like a man's supposed to because of your honor and duty. And society's saying, no, you can act how you feel as a man. That creates... Murderous, rapists, school shooters, and idiots. And domestic it's, violence. Domestic violence is she the pissed you cost. off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you better keep it chill. You know, yeah. that, that, like telling men violence. not to control themselves, you yeah. can see very how quickly how society will degrade. Yeah. Very quickly. It's all yeah. garbage and it's done on purpose. And you wonder why crime rates are through the roof. And, mm-hmm. and bro, shaitan. I'm never going back to the West. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying here. <laughs> no, I, honestly, I think, yeah, you're right. You spotted those. The West doesn't like it. The people don't like having an agenda. It's yeah. a fact because I've gone through hours. I was thinking, what was so bad? What he said, I've never like. I literally had to look at everything they said. I was like, yeah. huh? <laughs> like, there's much worse. Like you say, uh, Cardi B's last song, mm. going off topic. It, it plays on Chris R- Frey, this yeah. Radio Virgin. First thing in the morning. No, it's like, like I, I, I am. Yeah. Everything's dubbed. Why are you playing the song? Yeah. 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 No, listening to it on radio, it's all dubbed. That's yeah. how vulgar it is. Mm. And Western society said we don't like gangs, we don't like violence, we don't like gun culture, but yet mm. they'll pay millions of dollars for a rapper to come and perform on stage in England. Yeah. yeah. And they'll promote it. So you don't know what you're doing yourself. Yeah. Well, thank God for Dubai, I guess. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Dubai. 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 Best city in the world. I was in London for six months over the summer and I was literally I'm like... I'm sorry for you. I apologize. I was so depressed and then as soon as I landed, it's, I, I have to say this, Dubai is the best city. You love it, right? Hands down. It's the best. I can't believe I get to live here. I've been here a couple of years and I still can't believe I get to live in such an amazing city. Yeah. It's the best, Hands especially no, as a woman. That's a testimony to the leadership. Yeah, you absolutely. You can have money, you can have countries. Leaders uh, make... Leaders make countries, leaders make cities, and his vision, he's made it a safe haven. It's safe, yeah. it's got money, it's got the best of everything. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, safety, the way to make money, the tax. I mean, I, I was in a restaurant the other day, Dude. I saw him. He has no security. You can greet him. You can't, if you saw Boris Johnson in a restaurant, yeah. uh, he's gonna have about 5,000 people around him. Yeah. People are gonna start uh, wanker at him. No one cares <laughs> for him. The yeah. Sheikh drives around on his own, shakes it's hands with amazing. people, gives what you want. I've seen people go up to him saying my wife's sick or I can't do this and they look after you. Yeah, so that's why the amazing. people love him as a leader because he looks after the people, hence the community's right, the yeah. safety's good and you need more countries like the way, uh, the Dubai, Arab world yeah, in the world. I think the whole world will be better. Incredible. You nailed it. Yeah, that's exactly you spent it. six solid months in London. I know, I, I was so, so depressed. I couldn't <laughs> believe this was my life and as soon as I landed like this, it was instant antidepressant. As soon as you land, so you don't have depression, you just live in London. That's just right. Just move. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm not gonna get into that one him now about yeah, depression because people will come hit me with that one. You don't have depression, right. just move. Khayala, come on, let's just move, it's well, amazing. Well, thanks again, Lord. No, Lord, thank you guys, thank you. And our special guest, I wanted to do this purely because a lot of people say it's always guys. You always sit with guys with Andrew say it's all guys and wallahi as a Muslim, nothing was pre planned yeah, here. I didn't tell him to say anything. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to prove a point that it's all fake. Women also support the system. There are women out there who understand how life should be and uh, I think you guys should speak up more. You, you are, but I think they're not giving you a platform, but it's good to give you a platform and speak up more because then they can't use the whole misogynist, sexist kind of angle, you know? So thank hey, you again. Thank and, uh, you guys. Stay thank tuned you. for the next thank episode. You. Thank you.